And so the next speaker I'd like to bring up is Alex from Freedom Road Socialist Organization to speak on the struggles of UPS workers. Hello, my name is Alex. I'm a member of Freedom Road Socialist Organization, and I'm also a worker at UPS and subsequently a member of the Teamsters Local 853. I want to wish you all a happy International Workers' Day to my friends, organizers, and fellow workers. International Workers' Day was born in the trade union struggle, which has always been a struggle for dignity, safety, and democracy in the workplace. Numbers-wise, the trade union movement is at an all-time low, but this is, not, this is not a reason for despair. Nearly a century ago, during the 1930s, the American working class was faced with similar conditions, and a great many gains were made in those days. Back then, a man named William Foster dedicated his life to trade union organizing. I mention him because the organizers of the recent win at Amazon not only read one of his works, Organizing Methods in the Steel Industry, but studied it together and distributed it to workers. This piece of literature was accredited for the organizers' acumen and bottom-up organizing approach. Organized workers are tired of the business unionism which has dominated the trade union movement these past few decades of the sellouts who would rather collaborate with the rich rather than fight for the honest worker. In 2018, UPS part-timers were sold out with the loss of good benefits and a contract with weak language. Those benefits that they had won during the 1997 strike. In early January this year, UPS announced they were cutting the market rate adjustment they had implemented in 2021 in order to hire and retain the necessary number of workers. Uh, for folks in California like myself, this meant a $4 pay cut from $21 to $17 an hour, but in many places across North America, it meant as much as a $6 cut at a time when inflation is rising. Last October, the sellout leadership of the Jimmy Hoffa was voted out by a two-to-one margin and was replaced by the winning slate, Teamsters United, the first change in leadership in about 40 years, which won thanks to the organizing efforts of Teamsters for a Democratic Union a reformist grassroots org within the Teamsters. Negotiations for their 2023 contract between UPS and the Teamsters, the biggest union in North America, begins this fall. This will be an important fight. A Teamster win will mean better pay and benefits for UPS workers and will demonstrate the value of having a union uh, contract and it will inflame the current labor organizing drive on a larger scale than simply organizing workplace by workplace. The win at Amazon was significant, but it's not enough. Teamsters must win their next UPS contract if they are truly to, sh if they are to truly show people the benefits of having a union, and the Teamsters need the support of you and your families when the time comes to join picket lines and donate to the strike fund. Thank you. So, somos trabajadores postales del sindicato de los Teamsters. Como siempre en los sindicatos se trata del hecho de la dignidad y la seguridad en el trabajo. Estamos viviendo un momento histórico como en los 30 del siglo XX, pero también estamos enfrentando muchos recortes como trabajadores postales nos recortaron los salarios de 4 a 6 dólares la hora. Y ahora estamos en un momento histórico de negociar nuestro, de nuevo nuestro contrato. La victoria de Amazon Es significante, pero no suficiente. Nosotros les vamos a pedir el apoyo en el otoño cuando estemos negociando nuestros contratos. Gracias. <laughs> 